friends, welcome to noon prayer for Friday, May the 29th. I want to start with a word of apology or explanation. Um, I was not fully present with you in my podcast on Thursday. Uh, the reason for that was I was trying to figure out some new technology and that's what made me run late and it also frustrated me terribly and ended up making two or three times the amount of work that I anticipated for the particular project I was working on. Um, but I was not fully mindful yesterday and so today uh, I will be more mindful and I am glad that you are with us today. I do want to let you know you will see this, or perhaps you've already seen this in your announcements for this Sunday, that uh, we are going to begin offering flower sponsorships once again. We had stopped our flower sponsorships when we stopped having in-person worship, but we had a good discussion at our worship planning committee meeting this week about the fact that uh, though this digital worship is not in-person worship, it is nonetheless worship. And that if the flowers give glory to God, and if they allow us an opportunity to give thanks or remember someone or something from our past or perhaps our present, that we ought to give you that opportunity again to sponsor flowers. So. Obviously, if you choose to sponsor flowers, you won't be able to come in and sign up for them as you've been accustomed to doing. You will need to call or email the church office and find out if the date that you were requesting is available. And then you can also leave your dedication for the flowers with April at that time. Um, but your flowers will be visible on our recorded worship sessions for each week. And then provided that you don't want to take them home with you, don't want to come pick them up, um, or uh, just want to leave them here, uh, we will leave them up in the, the space behind me here so that they will be visible throughout the week as well. As, as Easter, this Easter season comes to an end, we'll be getting, uh, clearing out some of the things behind me. It'll be kind of plain behind me again. So just to let you know that that will be an opportunity for you going forward to sponsor Sunday flowers. We're going to continue to call them altar flowers, even though they won't truthfully be at the altar, because if they were at the altar, they would be off of the screen. Uh, but I see no reason to try to get used to calling them something else in this interim period. So altar flowers, if you are interested in sponsoring altar flowers, all you will need to do going forward is to call or email April in the church office and make sure your date is available and uh, then we can have your, your flowers and your dedication be seen not only by those in our immediate worshiping community but also by all those from other places, who knows, perhaps around the world who might be tuning into our worship. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We're almost finished with Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, but today I read for you Matthew chapter 7, beginning at verse 15, a tree and its fruit. Jesus said, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus you will know them by their fruits. Here ends the reading. People will know us by our fruits. They will know we are Christians by our love. They will know we are Christians also by our joy, which of course is this week's gift of the Spirit. So may that joy be found in you so that others, when they see you, will see the joy that is in you and will recognize that you belong to God. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving health again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, by our baptism into the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you turn us from the old life of sin. Grant that we who are reborn to new life in him may live in righteousness and holiness all our days. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, in you we live and move and have our being. Guide and govern us in this day by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but remember that always we are walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. This week we've been focusing on joy, and so I send you out today with these words from Psalm 30, the second half of verse 5, where it is written, Weeping may linger for the night, but joy comes with the morning. May this and every morning, may this and every day, give you reasons to see and find and experience joy. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us. Defend us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And as I've been doing these last few days, I'm going to turn you around to see one of 
our Easter symbols that will in fact be going away. I'll leave you today with the picture of this beautiful and really very unique Easter banner, uh, which is the phoenix rising from the ashes, a symbol, an ancient symbol of resurrection. Wherever you feel like your life is in dust and ashes right now, may Jesus Christ raise you to new life and new joy.